has grown to be the top agriculture export in Sri Lanka, providing internal and external employment opportunity to nearly one million people. Country's 4% land is covered in tea plantation, amounting to 203,000 hectares of land. Visiting tea plantation can be an immersive experience. You can explore the lush green landscape, learn about tea processing and cultivation, and even stay overnight at a tea plantation hotel to enjoy the scenic surrounding. It's all about this scenic views and breezy climate. But do we really know about the people, those who are behind these hills? These people are known as the Malegamakal. It's been 200 years, and they have lived through eight generations since they have migrated to Sri Lanka, the island which is known for its Ceylon tea. The South Indian famine was the origin of Tamil contract coolies during the 1800s. Governor Edward Barnes requested 10,000 workers to build the roads and railway system from Colombo to Kandy that we see today. In the first round, 1,000 people requested, but only 550 of them made to our shows. It's believed to be one of the hardest constructions of 1800s. Thousands of people died due to being a high-density forest. A most famous story comes with this three-month of hike. It was called the Death March. Many lost their life in the Indian Ocean as boats sunk. People walked miles without sustenance. Many fell sick while others suffered by animal attack. To till date, we don't know the real numbers of people that we lost during that hiking. In 1837 along, under John Ferguson's leadership, 250,000 people died. People witnessed their loved one die right in front of them and forced to move forward. The human remains and corpse became the landmark. 42,582 hectares of deforestation had been done within 12 years of period. After all these struggles, the Malayagamakkal became the number one civilization, civilization about 3,000 feet from the sea level. A native so song says like this, this is the mountain where I lost my brother and that's the mountain where I lost your dad. T is always been number one revenue in Sri Lanka, fueled with reciprocal industries like harbor, public service, transportation. You can't even imagine without tea in Sri Lanka. Quite a story, right? It's been 200 years, but the things are still remain the same for them. If you're a basic Sri Lankan citizen, you have two rights to enjoy. One, you have the right to express yourself. I know what you're feeling. <laughs> Number two, health, education, liberty, and property. But unfortunately, none of these rights are not accessible or applicable for the people in the plantation. Let me give you a like, simple example. What if you lost your mobile phone or any other personal item? You would walk right into the police station and lodge a complaint, right? Even though if they don't find it, you still the right to do it so. How many of you in the audience done this so far? Raise your hands. Simple, right? Yeah. Let's put yourself in the feet of plantation worker. Do you think they can do the same? The simple and short answer would be no. They need to get a permission from the estate management right before they lodge a complaint. Now they have to go through two documentation process. So now let's see how these rights are applicable for them. Since 1972, plantation schools were under estate management. Apart from the schools, which is located from the center of the town, the schools in the rural area remain the same. Leads to many other social issues, like school dropout. Kids are suffering, and we are losing brilliant mind every single day. 
a state dispensary has an EMA, a state medical assistant, who's equivalent to a male nurse, but locally is a doctor. The inaccessibility of an uncertified doctor leads many diseases untreated and unidentified. Women across the sector walk 15 to 20 kilometers a day, carrying bamboo basket and walking barefoot. Nothing much has changed for the last 200 years. In the world of innovation and AI, how do we ensure that the future generation is not left behind? The women in the sector face numerous issues, starting from increased number of teenage pregnancy, sanitation, health issues, dignity. Like many other marginalized communities in the world, the people in the plantation born, worked, and died in a land which they don't own or could not be owned. So what could be the sustainable solution for this? Unfortunately, Malagabakal, or the Tamil, Indian origin Tamil communities, still not declared as a national community, which removes their ability to apply for government jobs, development projects, allocations. The lack of documentation and sta status reduce their political power in sphere. According to the current data, the upcountry Tamils are 5.5%, with fewer parliament representative. But the real numbers are somewhere between 11.5. Could be eligible for 17 parliament members, which comes with a huge bargain power. But most importantly, estates need to convert into village structure. Let me give you an example. The people in the estate can vote for an urban council election, but the council does not have any power to do any sort of development projects in the estate because it still belongs to the management. This needs to come under district or provincial secretariat. So what we can do as a Viva Online, or an audience, or as a Sri Lankan, do we really know these people? their struggles, their pain. When I say Malaygamakal, we have no clue, right? Do we know why? Who are we? Like when you say Sri Lankan, are we representing all the communities? Are we walking towards the same direction? Are we raising our voice against inequality and injustice? My medium has always been photography and documentaries. As this face appears the meaning of work that I do, have you ever considered that how people live outside your office space? Create your own expression, be it photography, writing, art, or merely striking a conversation that we are having tonight. Create your own revolution to express struggle, pain, hardship. Tell a story in a creative way so you can connect on an emotional level to create an unmistakable bond. When I was doing my last exhibition called Hills of Neglect, people had agreements and disagreements. But end of the day, I'm creating a dialogue. You can't come up with a social change without a conflict. Black Lives Matter is a global movement. Isn't it great when you raise your voice against the international issue? Wonderful, isn't it? Let's create a moment tonight, a dialogue tonight, which I hope will create a big impact on Malaygamakkal or Indian origin Tamil community. Thank you.